Hey, this is Courtney with A Highly Sensitive Badass, a place for empowerment for highly sensitive people, empaths, intuitives, and light workers. So I have just come off of like a month of amazing travel, which is also, as a sensitive person, totally throws me off my game. And it's really interesting because I have this like side of me that loves to be stimulated. I love new, new things, new adventures, and I have this like call to adventure. Then there's the, my sensitive side that gets really overstimulated. I get very ungrounded when I travel, when I'm out of my environment, when I'm not in my routine. And so it's kind of like this fine dance that I do of overstimulated to understimulated, overstimulated to understimulated. And this just goes with life in general. There are cycles to everything. You know, we are never going to get to that place where we are just on all the time. You know, we, I've had a few of these places I've wanted to get to. One is with my exercise and my weight loss. I have always, like when I was in my 20s and my 30s, I wanted to really find the solution, figure out how to eat perfectly, exercise perfectly, do everything perfectly, so then my weight would never be an issue again and I would be happy forevermore. And I don't know if this sounds familiar to you or not, but many of us tend to have this type of thinking about everything we do in our lives. I am such a victim of this. Not a victim because I'm empowered now, but I used to be a huge victim of this kind of thinking. And one thing that goes along with this type of thinking is this sort of this resistance to really understand that there are cycles to everything. You know, we are never at the goal. You know, we're never going to live at our goal. We're always going to have new goals coming up. You know, this whole experience is a journey. You know, the destination, not so much. We're not going to get to this destination place. Really, it's this journey of getting there and, you know, you might reach a goal, but then guess what? You're going to get a new goal coming up and then you're in the journey again. So really, life is about this journey. And part of this journey is accepting the cycles that we go through, that we're not always going to be on, but we're also not always going to be off. We're going to just kind of do this little dance of on, off, and sometimes it's going to feel really good, and sometimes it's not going to feel very good at all. And acceptance of this, I talk about acceptance till I'm blue in the face or pink today because I've got my pink on, pink in the face because that's more, you know, I'm a pink girl. Anyway. I talk about acceptance a ton because truly this is the key, mindfulness, awareness, and acceptance. And I am excited because this morning I drew this card. Can you see her? There she is, Maeve, Cycles and Rhythms. And she says to honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and your emotions. And for sensitive people, for empathic and intuitive people, this is so important because we are cyclical beings and we, as these sensitive people, we feel a lot of stuff. And so we may be riding on this wonderful, you know, great connected feeling for a while, but then we'll have a cycle that doesn't feel quite as good. And if we're living in resistance of this if we're living in resistance of this change, of the cycle, we are going to suffer a lot more than is necessary. So I just want to remind you, this served as a great reminder to me today to accept all cycles, the happy ones and the ones that don't feel quite as good. And so coming off of, you know, on a personal note, I am coming off of like majorly um, physically, my body has just been off. You know, I, it's funny, I've been writing a lot about my story to share with everyone on my new website. I hope you visit me. It's the highly sensitive badass.com. And I basically spent the last few months writing an ebook that you can get there, but also writing about my story to share it with you. And it's funny, I rehashed all of this stuff that I went through when I was 35 that was really hard. I was in a dark place and I shared all this stuff. And as I'm like recounting this, suddenly kind of some of the stuff that I was going through back then started resurfacing. So I've had a bit of a struggle 
staying consistent with my eating, staying consistent with my exercise. My mood has been a little wonky. I have been more sensitive than normal, and it's been a challenge for me to really be like, awesome, this feels so good, because it doesn't feel good, and it's hard to accept the things that don't feel good. So on a personal note, I'm coming out of a cycle, and but honoring the cycle has been really powerful for me, because what I'll know now, what I know now that I didn't know then, is the cycle will change. You know, there's going to be an upswing. And so it gives me the certain sense of reassurance when I'm not feeling great and I'm in kind of more of a down cycle that it's going to turn, the tides will turn. And it has always happened. And now that I can pay attention to this, it helps me ease into that cycle of not so great feelings when I'm in it. So um, I wanted to share that with you in case you might have been like I was, where you are holding on so tightly to that place when you're feeling really good. And when you notice that downswing coming up, oh, it's just like, no, you just start running the other way. And so hopefully really recognizing and owning and accepting those cycles will help you, that will help the cycle when it's down, not feel quite as heavy and that you'll know it's going to come up and you know things are going to get better. So that's really all I wanted to share with you today. Hope you guys are having an awesome November. It's almost December. And um, I'm here. If you have any questions, post them below. Rate, write me on my blog. Visit me online. I would love to hear from you. And uh, just subscribe to this if you want to keep getting videos from me. Uh, visit my website at thehighlysensitivebadass.com. Sign up for my ebook. And I hope you keep in touch. I'll talk to you later. Bye.